star to soap history. Bulldozers demolish ITV's original Coronation Street set. The filming location, in central Manchester, was reduced to rubble on Friday after bulldozers flattened the disused site in Granada Studios. It's one of the most famous streets in the world. But the cobbles of Coronation Street are no more after TV bosses ordered the show's original set to be destroyed, this week. The filming location, in central Manchester, was reduced to rubble on Friday after bulldozers flattened the disused site in Granada Studios. Shocking images show a number of Weatherfield's key buildings torn down, including the Rover's return pub and local newsagent, The Carbon. It comes four years after the ITV cast permanently relocated to a new, improved site in Salford Keys. Pictures taken by an urban explorer, known only as Ben, are perhaps among the very last to be snapped before the famous sites are gone forever. They show a number of deconstruction vehicles at work throughout the street, which was home to the long-running soap for 30 years. Piles of masonry can be seen deposited in the road, while the iconic homes, once occupied by the likes of Jack and Vera Duckworth, are now mere shells. Even Devlin's corner shop has been completely ripped out. In fact, the only building that remains intact is the Platts property, which is currently untouched. Not that fans need to worry. Of course, fresh images surfaced of the soap's newly expanded set earlier this month. The new look street boasts a modern retail area complete with a tattoo parlor, snooker hall and even a Weatherfield North tram stop. Product placement deals mean for the first time well-known retail outlets will be represented in the ITV soap in the form of Costa Coffee and a co-op supermarket. Residents will also be able to visit tattoo to nicely for all their drinking needs and pop into trendy new restaurants speed dial as a welcome change from Roy's Rolls. In a nod to the ITV soap's long-running history, the new set is made from cobbles from the old Key Street site which was home to the residents from 1982 to 2013. Wider Weatherfield will be seen on screen for the first time on Friday 20th April, 8th April.